Well, hello and good morning. This is the inaugural trip in John. So, we have to very quickly realise this is not a full-size motorhome. Micro-camping has a trade-off. Obviously, the really, really good bit is it's small, it's practical, there's five seats that you can use as a normal car, and the little pod folds up into the back. But on the flip side of the coin, everything is miniature, and when you pack it, you have to pack it to travel and then switch it all around when you get to site. So I've gone for the half and half arrangement. Um, so it's half down, but everything is packed in there, including the brand new loo that I, um, that I haven't put the chemicals in yet. So I'm hoping that, uh, hoping that Rick is going to help me do that. I'm sure it's easy enough, but um, I'll, I'll, let, uh, I'll let a more experienced, wiser man deal with my loo for me. Um, awning at the back and then I've got some bits and pieces for work, my laptop, some clothes um, and also all my, well not all my camera gear, most of my camera gear. So uh, let's go and uh, let's go have an adventure. Now you probably realise that the vehicle behind me is not John. And if you look at the stormtroopers on the back, you can probably guess who's with me. So, we'll show you my setup in just a minute, but first, Rick is going to do some acrobatics for us. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a good job he's got these big, strong wheels with the. Uh, got those bigger tyres. Yes. I, I've got a feeling I may have to go over the top of this somehow. This is. This thing's in the way. It's um, but you, life awkward. But you can't start cutting it, it's... No. See now, look how easy these things just clip onto the vehicle. Wouldn't it be good if my awning did the same? I'll... Right, time to show my, my awning. First of all, I've got the soiree out with the uh, solar panels. And that's drinking up all this lovely sunshine. Um, so, John the Micro Camper is a great rugged anywhere vehicle and all of that, but there isn't a lot of space for living in. So what you really need is one of these. So, whilst Rick's climbing all over his van, this really extends the space. I'm gonna do a, a proper video on this. I was going to video us building it. Well, no, I was going to video me building it single-handedly to show how easy this awning is to put up for one person on their own. I'm really glad I didn't go for the pole version because Rick and I made no sense of it at all with the instructions. Um, we only just got it up. <laughs> it's taken us about an hour and a half. So where this 14 minute pitching time comes from, um, that might be easier next time. But a lot more space. Um, I'm going to set the middle up and then I'll give you a proper lowdown of what everything does. So the first thing you have to realise about micro camping is, as the name suggests, everything is smaller, everything's micro. Now the module in the back of a micro camper folds into various positions. So all of this you can fold into one solid pile of wood and cushions and you free up all this space to travel. You can also Put these seats back up. Can we? That looks a bit dark, doesn't it? It is a little dark. You'll have to brighten it up in editing. Yeah, oh gosh. Right, well. Not sure if you can see us or not. We have had a very pleasant evening, haven't we? Yes. We've had uh, yes. uh, we've had more steak than the mind can comfortably conceive. I think yep. that's a fair comment. Uh, we played pool. We had a, a beer in the pub, didn't we? And, uh, well, well, you, well, you, you had you, your you had beer. I had a little whiskey. Yes, just a little. Um, and we met a couple of dogs, didn't we? That bounced mm. all over us in the pub. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, and the uh, and the young lady said we were playing snoo uh, snooker or pool, didn't you? I thought, well, <laughs> Yeah, but um, no, we've we've sat now for what, three and a bit hours and just put the world to rights, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I and I hope the world is a better place for it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yes, but I think we've both decided now we're quite tired. Um, 
I've realised I haven't done very much to camera at all, so we're going to try and put that right in the morning. But um, but right now, I think it's good night from me. And it's good night from him. <laughs> See you in the morning. <laughs> Well, this is micro campering. I'll be honest and say, a little tiny bit squashed, but it's okay. The important thing is that although I've had a lovely evening with, uh, with Rick and his company, and we went to the pub and we played pool and what have you, if I was on my own, um, just somewhere, wherever, and I didn't have the awning, so I was sort of minimalistic on stuff that I had with me. I think that I could sleep quite easily in this space, and I think I'd be quite comfy. So I think that, um, yeah, that's um, I think a major part of it. So I'm gonna say good night for now. Um, yes, I'll see you in the morning, and we'll, uh, well, maybe in the middle of the night. We'll see how this goes. See you then. Oh, good morning. It's five o'clock, and uh, I think I think it's quite interesting. I've learnt quite a few things <laughs> in just one night about micro campering. I had the idea that sleeping with my head towards the boot would be slightly less claustrophobic. The only thing is, I'm wondering whether sleeping the other way would have been better because I wanted the loo a couple of times in the night and it was very very difficult to manoeuvre yourself from here also the the cushions have been sort of slipping around underneath and once I moved the nicely laid out sleeping bag it was very very difficult to negotiate the electric blanket and um, and the sleeping bag um, to actually get them to uh, to line up so I could get comfortable again. So I won't pretend that I've had the best night's sleep ever. Um, you know, I I'm still I think learning about how best to do it, and I've made a, a nice list of of things yesterday that I need to get for the camper. But as my first night in it, I think I've learned quite a lot of things about how to use it. Um, and I think I'll, uh, I'll report on that more in the morning, um, or a little bit later in the morning. I'm trying to get a bit more sleep now, um, and I'll, uh, I'll be back with you later. Um, Rick's doing the bacon and the eggs, and I'm doing the sausages, so it's a, it's a team effort. It was actually really, really nice. It was great fun to sleep in here last night. I did enjoy it. I'm quite a practical person um, in terms of, you know, if there's issues or problems. I, I like to I like to see challenges, not problems, and I like to find solutions. There are a few things that I need to do differently next time. I definitely need, I think, need to make this down as the double bed and put this table down and then just use the, the surfaces sort of there, the so the bits on the edge there for anything I'm going to store overnight. Also, I think if I'm going to bring the awning, put everything out in the awning. If I'm not bringing the awning and I'm just using the camper, minimalize everything down. Um, I had to bring my laptop because I had some work I had to do, but I brought the big camera bag. And I'm just wondering, you know, that and another bag for clothes and what have you, should I do that again? And I don't think I will actually. I think I'm going to put the clothes straight up in the uh, in the storage lockers there and so everything is sort of in the vehicle not in a bag in the vehicle um, and I think it's just little tiny things like that is going to make the difference um, when it comes to in well, enjoying John so really. uh, yes but I will go uh, for now and finish yeah, breakfast and I'll speak to you well after breakfast Hello. Hello. This is 
Right. How's the bacon coming? Bacon's ready. Oh, good. Well, the sausages are sort of also there. Okay, I'm just doing the eggs. So okay. I, um, I couldn't use the microwave <laughs> because um, I connected the power up. And right. This, how can I put this electrical scorchy smell coming, oh. coming from my uh, um, fuse box? Right. So I'm going to have to look into that. Right. Um, oh, so are you filming as well? No, no, that's just charging. Ah, oh, right, I was going to say. Because he hasn't noticed. Oh, you did. I took. <laughs> I turned your, your kitchen roll round the other way, and I may have documented it. Okay. But not on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> So we timed that right, we've just managed to get the awning down and it has actually now started to rain. I genuinely think this has been a great camping experience. Um, I've, we, 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 Rick and I, we, we've tried desperately not to do the same video. Um, mine has been much more about learning how to use this and I think every time I've come on camera it's been, oh, I'll do this different next time, I'll do that different next time. Um, so what I've decided is I'm gonna, when I go home, I'm going to take all the bits out, um, the sort of the camping, camping bits, like the awning, the blinds, the carpet, um, the big water tank. Um, and I'm just going to set it up so it's more of a day van. And I want to go and try and do a few filming trips. Um, and I think it's going to come into its own then. Lots of lessons learned. Um, lots of lessons learned about um, how I'm going to use it, how I'm going to sleep in it next time. But it's all very positive things. It's just little things like, you know, never having slept in a micro camper before, I put my head that way and my feet this way. So when I wanted to get out to the loo in the middle of the night, it was a real scrabble. Also, I'm not gonna have a sleeping bag again. I'm gonna get two big king size duvets. One over the top of the other, sandwich myself in the middle with the electric blanket. Um, and that will be much easier to move around and get in and out of and make the double bed up, very important. So uh, yes. It's been a great experience. It's starting to rain. Um, we will do a proper sign off in a minute. Rick's just uh, nipped up to do some washing up. Um, I'll so come back in a sec when we say goodbye. Almost ready to go now. Um, as I, said, I just wanted to do a little bit. I was very conscious that it came across that I, every time I did a bit to camera, it came across that I was moaning and I didn't want to do that. I was genuinely experiencing things, thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this differently, I'm going to do that differently. Um, but the whole video turned into this sort of Victor Meldrew. I don't believe. It and, it and it really wasn't meant to that to happen at all um i'm really really pleased actually um it's great to be able to you know sort of go away and and take this and it's a great camping vehicle i just need to learn how to use it a bit better um, than i have already so as i sign off i think we should bring in rick as well so he can say hello and goodbye ah, hello and goodbye hello. Uh, yes. <laughs> so that's uh, that's sort of it. We're going to, I think, sit in Guinevere for a little bit before we go. Um, yeah. Um, sorry, there wasn't more footage of the actual camp, but it was pretty good, wasn't it? It was all right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah good fun. Lots of meat. Yes. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> Lots of meat. <laughs> Whose idea is it to cook two packets of sausages? <laughs> I ask you. Yeah. Right. It may have been mine. Okay. So um, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Take care and uh, bye, bye bye. Bye.